Uh, this notebook is used to just to introduce the formal solving of equations. So we've got a seesaw and the idea is that the seesaw is currently balanced. On the left hand side we've got one cat and three mice. On the right hand side we've got five mice. And we're going to use this seesaw to find out how much the cat weighs in terms of mice. So the idea is we need to keep the seesaw balanced just like we need to keep both sides of an equation balanced. So first thing we need to do is we need to get rid of anything that's near the cat so that we can just find what the cat weighs. So we're going to get rid of these three mice, take them off the seesaw. Now what's going to happen to the seesaw? Well, the seesaw would obviously tip because there's more on the right hand side now. So, because our seesaw is now unbalanced, we need to get rid of some mice from the right hand side. So, let's get rid of three, because we got rid of three from this side. So, if we get rid of three from this side, it will balance the seesaw back up. So, what would happen? Well, the, the seesaw is now going to balance back up. And... So, now our seesaw is balanced, and you can see that the cat equals two mice. Okay, so what does that mean for equations? Well, if we put all the steps here, you can see that in this first step we've got the cat, which we don't know its weight, so we're going to use a letter like X to represent the weight of the cat. So we use letters in algebra to represent things that we don't know, what their value is. We've got three mice as well on that side, and we've got five on the other side. So algebraically we can represent that as X plus three, so the cat plus three mice equals five mice. Now, we want to get rid of three mice from this side. So do that. We took away three mice from the left-hand side. So that's the same as subtracting three from the left-hand side. But that left our seesaw unbalanced. So we needed to take away three from the other side as well. So we got rid of three from the other side of our equation as well. And that left us with our solution, which was that the cat equaled two mice x equals two so there's a formal solution for an equation